has to be. This Nate has Pearson. to be the year, man. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Blue Jays Today, where we always have something to say about the Toronto Blue Jays. I am your host, Adam Peddle. And I'm your host, Nicholas Playlog. And today, guys, we're going to be looking at the top three Toronto Blue Jays who need to break out in 2022. Before we do, please make sure to hit that like, smash the subscribe button. And also, if you want to win a jersey, details are in the description, so hop on to that. All right, Adam, who is your number one guy, the number one Blue Jay who we need to break out? If we if we want a chance at touching 90 wins again, who you got? Oh, I definitely got Nate Pearson. It has boy. to be. It has, it has to, be. to be. This Nate has Pearson. to be the year, man. It, it has to be, okay? Because like this guy has been like he is giving me some serious blue balls. Oh, buddy, some buddy, blue they balls. are like raw They're blue, raw card, okay? Yes. And but here's the reason why, guys, because he was a former number one prospect. Mm -hmm. He's still young. He can throw his upper 90s, touches 101 with ease. And this guy, 25 years old now let me take a look at his last year here yeah because we all know what happened he came up we started in that houston game and he sucked he sucked really bad then he got hurt with the groin issue mm -hmm. and we didn't see him however when he came back and he was in the bullpen he had a 284 era with 20 strikeouts yep. and five walks yep. and that's the key for me is limiting those walks and throwing that high one or the low 100 but that high velo mm -hmm. because that People cannot hit that. No, no, man. It was always the command with him. We know that he's got the stuff. Can he, like, put it in the zone consistently? And we started to see that a little bit in the bullpen when we were just focusing on one or two outs, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think that's what he needed. It's like, we got to take this step at a time. You can't run before you walk. You yeah. can't walk before you crawl. And Nate Pearson tried to get out running right away. Yeah. And it was too much, too quickly. I think that this is the year, though. Yes. He's going to be in a role. I truly believe he's going to be in a role where he needs to be a starter. I don't see us going out and gathering at least two more pitchers yeah. to fill the roles of Steven Matz and Robbie Ray. So Nate Pearson's going to have his opportunity we need him to do something with it. Absolutely. I agree. And a guy who kind of missed out on an opportunity last year as well with injury is Kevin Biggio. And he's and next on our list. God damn it, man. And he, it, it's time. It's, it's it needs time. to happen. It needs to happen. Yeah, why you know, do you why do you think it's time for Kevin Biggio? Well, for God's sakes, man, like he's part of the trio. And we've been leaving him out of that trio of Boba Shet yeah. and Vlad because it's like he kind of dipped off. And we saw last year it was it was just all bad, you know. The defense was yeah. horrible. The bat was horrible. And I was looking at his baseball savant page, too. What he was good at when he came up, what he was good at yeah. in 2019, uh, 2020, he just got horrible at in 2021. Like, he did not take first pitch strikes anymore. Mm -hmm. He was swinging at them. His chase rate was through the roof yeah. for what it was in the past. And he was so good at hitting breaking balls in, in yeah. 2020. And he just fucking sucked at it in 2021. Yeah. And, so yeah. Everything Go got bad. I think, though, just on a pure faith standpoint, that Kevin Biggio is due for a bounce back year. Hopefully, a healthy offseason as well will get him there. Yeah, I agree. I mean, like my kind of two cents on this is we're going to be missing potentially if we are missing Simeon. We definitely need this guy to go yeah. back over to second, assuming Espinal is playing or a trade is made there. He needs to clean up that defense. And you were mm. talking about Savant Page and one number that stuck out to me. And this is this is the bread and butter for any good major league player is you have to hit the fastball. And he can't. And you can't. Last year, he was 234 batting average. Mm. And what was his batting average? 224. Yeah. That needs to be where your batting Batting average is like 300 plus yes, that you need. Yes. And, and that he needs to go out and work on that and the defense. Those are the two things in my mind. And also stay healthy. That's kind of common. Yeah, absolutely. Knowledge. You know, but it's like we do need him to break out because we're losing some bats in Simeon. And frankly, it's like right now I'm kind of counting Biggio as just like a meh, nothing bad. Yeah. But if we could get, you know, a solid guy there, well, that hole is already filled. So absolutely. That's a dude. Last on our list is a guy who, in my mind, has kind of already like taken the first steps in breaking out but he could go further the potential is there to go even higher mm -hmm. it's alejandro kirk at the catching position and don't get me wrong he is a stud already in my eyes oh, i yeah. love this compared guy compared to average mlb catchers compared to average mlb catchers he's elite but you were telling me about the expected numbers. And yes. He's got a ceiling that we weren't even aware of. Oh, guys. my gosh. I mean, when he first came up in 2020, we saw a little bit of that ceiling. I mean, look at his expected numbers, guys. Expecting batting average at 288 and expected slugging at 511. Now, compared to what he did in 2021, he hit 242 mm -hmm. and a slugging of 436. So that's right. like, you know, 
average kind of catcher. I mean, I'm not going to be disappointed, certainly not. No. But I think there's some good potential for a 20 to 25 home run catcher, which you do not see in the MLB. Mm -hmm. And look, everything's there. He just has to keep doing it. The batted profile. He, you know what his batted ball profile, who they were comparing him to? Who? Winker, Machado. Olsen and Seeger. So he's doing it. I think he just needs Holy a bit. Crap. Yeah. Yeah. That's he four all-stars right there, guys. Those are four all-stars. And he, this guy just needs to stay healthy because he was hurt last year, only played and appeared mm -hmm. in 60 games. He needs to stay healthy and get regular time. And I believe if he does, if he does that, he's going to break out. Yeah, man. And, and you know what? I know that he's been on the trade radar for a lot of people recently. And I've always been of the mindset. It's like, okay, if we can get like the absolute stud that puts us over the edge as a team I, I'll take it but frankly I don't really want to ship this guy off because of what you're telling me right now like this could be like one of the best like what if we had Salvador Perez chilling yes, at the catching spot literally. right that would make up for the Semyon hole right there exactly. and some right exactly also I want to I want to just put a little pinpoint in the fact that his defense I saw improve agreed. as time went agreed. on I would agree. and I think that as he gets older, it will continue to get better and better as he gets more confident and he gets a rapport with people behind the plate. Absolutely. Also, there's an honorable mention here. A little honorable mention. Honorable mention for Santiago Espinal. I don't want to get too deep into it, but guys, if we're not going to go out and get a third baseman and, you know, assuming Biggio can hopefully hold down the second base, we need somebody to step up at third base. Espinal, exceptional defensively. The bats already look pretty good, but he's only got 282 at-bats in his career. I still think there's more of a ceiling there. If he can keep the batting average up, maybe hit a few more doubles, we're laughing. Yeah, I think if he just, you know, maybe hits the gym a little bit, gets that slugging up a bit, and uh, and he stays with that, like, 300 batting average, which we're knowing in that great defense, and he plays a full season... That's a breakout for me. Yeah, man. His batted ball profile, a Uli Guriel. There you go. So, That's perfect. That guy's know, an elite guy. Yeah, I think so. I think so. But friends, let us know in the comments down below what you think about this. Who is your breakout Blue Jays that need to happen in 2022? Did we get it right? Comment it down below. And guys, check us out on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Anchor Radio, Public and Breaker. Also check out our Instagram, Twitter, and our TikTok. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. And as well, FanDuel. This is what this video is brought to you by is FanDuel. Register through our link in our description and you could be entered into a jersey contest. All you gotta do is enter a $1 contest minimum. And as well, guys, this video is also sponsored by our sponsors. <laughs> Become a Patreon. It's $3 a month and you can come on to our Wine on Wine just like all these guys right here. Shout out and thank you to every single person on this list. You are absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. And go, go Jays, go! go.